So you've probably heard of Athletic Greens. This one's the world's biggest podcast. is recommended by Andrew Huberman, health experts and athletes, uh, hence the, the name. So I've been taking this miracle powder for the past 30 days. So today I'm going to be sharing my experience discussing the hefty price tag of £97, as well as sharing some cheaper alternatives that could be just as good. So what is Athletic Greens? Athletic Greens is a greens powder to help fill your nutritional gap in your diet, serving as a multivitamin, mineral, probiotic, adaptogen, and more. The first thing you will notice when receiving your Athletic Greens is it looks beautiful. You feel like you're unboxing a new MacBook Pro and I think in reality this is to distract you that you've just spent £97 on a, a greens powder and a, a water bottle. Actually you also get this container as well so uh, totally worth it. So when you see the massive list of 75 ingredients, it does sound amazing, but let's take a close look and see if there's cheaper alternatives that are just as good. So on the website, they've broken the ingredients down into five categories. Vitamins, minerals, whole food source nutrients, probiotics, and adaptogens. So for the first two, we've got vitamins and minerals, which you essentially could swap out for a multivitamin, which will set you back about five or a month. So next, we've got the whole food source nutrients. This includes your nutrient-dense foods, such as apples, broccoli, carrots, pineapple, spinach. These you can obviously get from your diet. And then you also have your super greens, such as barley grass, wheat grass, and spirulina. This you could also supplement yourself. I found a similar super greens powder online for about five pound a month. Next up, we have probiotics, which are good for your gut health. I've seen some reviews online saying that taking AG1 helped relieve digestive and stomach issues, and the probiotics could be the reason. You can get probiotics from foods in your diet, such as yogurt, kefir, kombucha, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, kimchi, sourdough and some cheeses or if you don't like or consume any of these foods you can get yourself a probiotic which work out about £1.70 a month. Finally we have the adaptogens. I've tried many of these in the past myself before and the one I find most beneficial and I still take today is ashwagandha and supplementing with ashwagandha will set you back about £5 a month. Bringing the total to the alternatives I've suggested £16.70. Now I know what you're thinking but AG1 has so many more ingredients than the ones you suggested and you are right. However the one thing that does concern me is they don't actually include how much of each ingredient is in AG1. This is supposedly to prevent another company just from copying the ingredients and creating a cheaper alternative. But just keep in mind that just because an ingredient is listed on a supplement doesn't essentially mean there is enough of that ingredient for it to be an effective dose. Companies do this to save money as well as make their product appear better by listing a lot more ingredients. Now I'm not saying Athletic Greens have done this, I'm just saying it's something to bear in mind when paying such an extortionate amount for something that is essentially just a glorified greens powder. So the reason I decided to take Athletic Greens is I met up with a friend recently and he said his girlfriend and him had been taking it and both experienced some positive effects. So I went into this experience with pretty high hopes. My initial thoughts were it tasted like a bitter green drink and also reminded me of when I took Thrive years ago which is also a similar greens powder at less than half the cost. And after 30 days of chugging down this bittersweet greens drink first thing in the morning, I honestly didn't notice any difference. Though as always, this is just my experience. However, there could be two reasons why you're experiencing a positive effect of taking a greens powder. Number one could be that you're actually missing something in your diet and taking the greens powder is filling that nutritional gap. Number two is the placebo effect or possible change in mindset you can get from taking a greens powder. You've already done something healthy with your day so that may encourage you to drink more water, move more, make healthy decisions throughout the rest of the day leading to positive side effects. However this can also have the opposite effect where you feel like you've got all your nutrition from your greens powder and you slack off with the rest of your diet and don't eat any more fruits and vegetables. Relying on a supplement to hit your nutritional goals is not a long-term solution. It's the equivalent of drinking coffee when you're tired rather than fixing your sleep. So just like when I did the Alpha Brain review, I've managed to stumble across a British version of Athletic Greens that is a lot cheaper. It's called Fuel 33 and it's about 30 pounds. It's just arrived, I haven't even tried it. So let's have a look. So this is a greens powder with added vitamins and minerals and all the ingredients are organic. They've even listed the amount on the package, although I'm now realizing that I don't know what the recommended amount or effective doses are, but it's encouraging to know that they're confident enough to put them on the package. So just like AG1, this contains vitamins, minerals, super greens, as well as one adaptogen, chlorella. Chlorella is a type of algae, it has similar effects to spirulina, and also helps relieve toxins and heavy metals from the body. The main difference between this and AG1, apart from it of course having a lot less ingredients, is it doesn't contain any probiotics. So you'd either have to get them from your diet or supplementation. However, one benefit of not having probiotics is it doesn't need to be stored in the fridge. So if fridge storage is an issue in your house, that is definitely something you need to keep in mind. Anyway, it'd be rude not to give this a, a quick taste test. 
Mother f- Cheers. Oh, tastes like a bitter green drink. Ah. So final thoughts on AG1. To me, it looks like a very well polished and marketed product. The Apple S design and the celebrity endorsements can make it seem like you're getting a high value product, which makes the high ticket price worthwhile. However, if you take into consideration the amount of money this company must have spent on marketing, I believe the extra money you're paying is going towards their extortionate advertising costs. That being said, maybe you're a busy person, time is money, and having the ability to cover all your nutritional needs with one product in the morning alone is worth it for you. I'd actually recommend taking a greens powder for a month or two and see if you see any noticeable difference in your digestion, your mood and overall energy. And if you do, that could be an indication that you're missing something in your diet. At the end of the day, you want to try and get all your nutrition from whole foods and use supplements as an insurance policy, not as your main bank account. That doesn't make any sense, but you get the idea. I'll see you in the next one.